Books arose in a new age of print technology, and in a period of digital technology, we are pushed again to consider what a book is and what it does. At present, digital books in rhetoric and composition consist of print books that have been scanned and digitized to be read or searched in digital formats, or book-length projects on thematic issues hosted on journal sites, or scholarly print books created for digital distribution. These early instantiations point to the possibilities and limitations of digital scholarship, and the new work of composing intends to elaborate such disciplinary conversations by asking, does a digital book need a cover? How should a table of contents function in a nonlinear book? Which assumptions about print books are transferable to digital books and which are not? And also, how do modes and media change what kind of knowledge is produced? Answering these questions required us to think about how print books work and how the work they accomplish is or is not transferable to digital scholarship. Historically, book covers were designed to protect a book's interior, but digital books don't need such protection. Covers eventually evolved for storage and marketing purposes. A book's cover signals its material status, as well as its participation in the technologies and economics of publishing, and how books are shared between authors, readers, and publishers, and read, held, or bought and sold. For the new work of composing, we invoke these material concepts in a digital cover that represents our desired entrance for readers of this collection. From the cover, readers can choose one of two ways to navigate the book's 12 chapters. While monographs are traditionally organized around a linear argument, edited collections are often more intertextual and dynamic. Each chapter in this collection engages multiple themes on the new work of composing. New authors and authorship, new strategies of composing and production, new genres of scholarship, and new sites of construction. Additionally, each theme includes a response by a noted scholar who reflects on or extends the discussion. From both tables of contents, you can access the foreword, afterword, and other sections of the book, including the interactive index. Although this video introduction foreshadows what digital books can be, we also recognize the power and affordances of traditional scholarship. So, we invite you to continue reading.